Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe. This is the next tutorial in the Python for Absolute Beginners series. If you remember in the last tutorial, we went over some more functions and a data structure called lists. And so we just sort of went over how to deal with those a little bit better. So you'll remember that in the last tutorial, I asked you guys to write a function called count that basically takes in a letter and a string and then it returns how many times that letter appears in that string. I'm going to go over how I would do that real quick. So basically what I would do is I would say define count and then it takes in a letter and it takes in a string. And then inside of this function, I would say for letter. Well, I'll say for char in string. And then I'm going to initialize one variable up here called uh, number. So the number of times this letter appears in it right now it's zero for char in string, if this char equals that letter, then we're going to say number equals number plus one. So we're just saying we found one, we're going to increase the number by one. And then down here, we will return number. Now, if I go down here and I say print count, uh, and then I'm going to say the letter is going to be A, and then uh, my name, Gabe, should return one. We'll run this real quick, python temporary.py. And sure enough, it outputs one. There we go. And then let's say I do my last name, Gabe Ambrosio. This should still only output one because I capitalized this one. So that's actually a different letter. So still one. And if I make this lowercase, it should print out two. And we get two. Um, let's do O. And then we will do the office is cool and that should be three and not the tv series i've never seen the tv series so i actually don't know about that we get three and so on and so forth if you try this with anyone it should work properly okay so now that we know how to do that let's go on and learn about file io and this tutorial what we're going to be going over is file io or file input and output so how to read a file and how to write to a file this is an important thing that you'll want to do uh, because there are several times when it's a lot easier to store things in a file, like maybe save data for a game or even a picture and you want to modify values and stuff. And so reading the file and outputting to the file are really important skills to have as a programmer. Okay, so it's actually really simple in Python. Um, I'm going to go over here. This is the folder that I'm currently in. And then I'm going to go and say create a new file. And I'm just going to call this test.txt. And then I'm just going to put some random text in this file. So we'll say um, the lazy dog jumped over. And I'm going to go to a new line down here, the red fox or something like that. OK, and so the reason I'm doing it in three lines is that we can make sure everything is working properly. When we read it, we should get three separate lines. OK, and then we'll go into our temporary.py file or whatever your Python file is called. And then I'm going to say my file or we'll call it f for file equals i'm gonna say open which means open a file and then you just as long as this python file is saved see it's right here and then i have the test.txt right here as long as they're in the same folder you can just say open test.txt comma and then you want to do r because we're reading the file the other option you may have is w for writing to a file so we're going to do r for now then that f now contains this file. So we can say for line in f print line. And then this is a new thing. I don't think I've gone over this. We're going to say end equals, and I'm just going to do double quotes. What this means is basically at the end of this print statement, I just want you to print nothing. If I were to open up Python down here, just by typing in Python 3 or Python, <laughs> and then if I go print hello, You'll notice it prints hello down there and then it prints a new line. And then if I say print hello and equals and with a space, it says hello and and there's no new line. And so that's basically what we're doing with this end right here. We're just saying we don't want a new line at the end of this. So I'm going to exit out of here real quick and then clear this. So then going back up to here, so we'll say print the line and then end. And now let's run this down here. We'll say Python dot slash temporary dot pi and we see it says the lazy dog jumped over 
new line, the red fox, which is exactly what we have in here. So that's great. We know how to read the file, go through it line by line. What if you want to go through it character by character? You want to go T-H-E space L-A-Z, so on and so forth. Well, you can do that by saying uh, for line in F, and then we go for char character, uh, A, B, C, D, spaces, question marks. Those are all characters. Uh, it's a term in pro programming, so just anything you can type on your keyboard, that's a character. Emojis are character. All that stuff are characters. So for char in line, we're going to say print char, and then we're going to say end equals, and we're just going to do that again. And then if we run this, we'll say python dot slash temporary dot pi, and we get the exact same thing. So how do we know this is working? Well, let's make the end a new line, which you can do in programming by doing a backslash and then an end for new line. And this just means it's a special character that is just going to do a new line character. So we'll run this one more time. And you notice that we get all the characters printed out individually. This is really cool. So now we can do stuff with this. We can do it either by lines if we want to store information about certain lines, or we can do it by character if we want to store information about certain characters. But using this new information, I'm going to give you guys a practice problem, which is to count a certain amount of characters in a file. So uh, this is the formal problem that I will give you. Um, problem is given a text file in the same folder. I want you to count how many letters of a certain character are in that file. I want this to be wrapped in a function. So I want this to be a function count letters and it takes in a file name. And then what I want it to return is return the count, which is the count of how many letters are in that file. So an example run of this would look like count letters and I would pass in test.txt, which is what we have down there. And then if I said print, uh, let's go down here. And then if I said count equals count letters, and then if I said print count plus str count, I would expect this to print the count of letters in that file. And then I'm going to actually add one more thing up here, count letters, file name, and then letter. So which letter do I want you to count in that file? So basically, I just want you to return how many times this letter appears in this file name. So then test.txt and then count the letter E. How many times does letter E appear? And then right here, I'll say count uh, E. So code this up, see if you can get it done. And in the next tutorial, we will go over how to do that.